Hello friends and welcome back to another video where today we will be looking at 10 new characters we could see in the Lord of the Rings The Rings of Power Season 2 that should be premiering sometime next year. With this new season we should also be seeing new characters and in today's video we will be looking at some that could be highly likely and even slated to appear through Amazon confirmations or scoops and some that might be on the side of hope and wish. So make sure to like and subscribe and join our discord with the link being in the description below but without further ado let's get right into it. In at number 10 we have Anitar aka Sauron who is the Lord of Gifts. Anatar, one of the most anticipated characters, or should we say character forms, in the Rings of Power Season 2 is crucial to the whole basis of the show which is titled The Rings of Power, as he with Celebrimbor crafted the Rings of Power except the three elven ones. Though in Eregion we did see Halbrand there who even told Celebrimbor to see his knowledge and advice as quote a gift, so maybe that is a hint at the beginning of what we might see in Eregion during the second season. Celebrimbor still has the dwarven and human rings left to forge and maybe in the next season of the Rings of Power an Anatar form whatever and whoever that may be will end up making this come into fruition. In at number 9 we have Anarion who is the brother of Isildur the young sailor that we met in season 1. Of course Isildur doesn't stay a young sailor and he ends up leading kingdoms of men and courageously stealing the fruit in Armenelos. His brother is also a hero of the faithful and someone we haven't seen as of yet in the Rings of Power but have heard mention of when Elendil and Volundil drop his name during discussion. Anarion told me you deferred twice. Anarion? What's your brother have to do with this? We learn that he is currently on the western shores of Numenor and according to Vlandil seems quite patriotic in believing in the quote real Numenor so whatever the real Numenor may be we will have to wait and see. So it looks like the Anarion that we will see in the show however will be quite passionate and patriotic and maybe this is linked to his belief in the faithful. Next up in at number 8 we have Kamul the Eastling King and a character we should encounter in Rune in the Rings of Power season 2 if that is a location that Nori and the stranger will be adventuring to on their travels. Are you certain? More than ever. With Kamul, we get to see a culturally unique and fresh feel and sense of Middle-earth as the eastern regions have not really been fully explored or delved into in adaptations on screen and seeing Kamul could also link to the potential Ringwraith plotline or more so the future Ringwraith plotline given that we probably won't see someone handing out all the rings in season 2. So maybe we will see Kamul before he is corrupted. We will see the reason why he was so easily corruptible and why he is such a greedy or evil king that would willingly take one of the rings of power. Some interesting context into his character would be revealing. At number 7 we have Amdir, the king of Alorian during the second age and an important elven figure and leader in Middle Earth. This becomes apparent in the War of the Last Alliance, but until then, Armdir, who is from a different faction of elves from the High King Gilgalad, could lean into some pretty interesting elven political dynamics and how the two sections of elves would work together, or how relationships are like currently. Also, we might see Galadriel for the periods of the Second Age when she was in Lorien, notably with her daughter Celebrian. So if there is one way to introduce Armdir and Lorien on screen, it would make sense to the character of Galadriel. Nearly halfway there, in at number 6 we have Glorfindel. Now this could be a long shot and there has been no indication or evidence that Glorfindel is in the show but the reason I bring him up is over one cool theory when we get the telling of the roots of Hithalgir tale in episode 5 whereby an elf fights off against a balrog in front of a tree. On the other a balrog of Morgoth channeled all his hatred into the tree to destroy it. This mirrors Glorfindel's story in Gondolin so maybe this is a nod to that and maybe we will see this urban warrior character again at some point in the show somehow and that character is Glorfindel maybe he comes back to life. 
Again, a really big long shot, but who knows as he's indeed a fan favourite to say the least. Halfway there at number 5, we have Shelob, a character that we know is going to be in the Rings of Power Season 2 but in a minor role. It would make more sense to refer to her as a character more so than a creature unless you subscribe to the theory that we will see her as a female hot sexy Shelob like we did in the Shadow of War games. Shelob though serves as an interesting character in regards to her potential friendship and relationship with Sauron in Mordor and maybe she could be an ally to him when having to assume control or dominance against Adar who at this point has the upper advantage with all orcs on his side. At number 4 we have Na'vi the Dwarf, another confirmed character for the Rings of Power Season 2 and a character that is integral for one of the biggest events of the Second Age the creation of the Doors of Durden. Also, his friendship with Celebrimbor is very well known and could be a major way to help us care for Celebrimbor before his untimely death which may be coming to him in the second season. The relationship between Durden and Elrond was one of the best moments in season 1 so hopefully we will see the parallels between Celebrimbor and Na'vi in season 2. Next up at number 3 we have Círdan the Shipwright, one of the oldest and wisest elves in Middle Earth and a figure fans have been longing to see in The Rings of Power. Luckily for those, Círdan is in fact the only character on this list who is confirmed to be in the second season and being able to see the Grey Havens alongside that is going to be wonderful to see. Círdan as mentioned earlier is one of the wisest elves and eventual bearer of an elven ring so it makes sense that he should be developed in a way for us to know him before he becomes a ring bearer and importantly giving advice to Gilgalad who seems to be solely responsible for leadership of the elves in the first season. Nearly there at number 2 we have another reach but possibility due to some mingling rumours which is Tom Bombadil the joyous singing entity that the four hobbits met in the old forest in the Lord of the Rings. How he will serve the plot I can't really conceive except for the fact that one of the hobbits meeting him would indeed make the most sense or even the stranger and Nori if the stranger ends up being Gandalf of course but the likelihood of Tom Bombadil being heavily linked to the plot and narrative of season 2 if he is involved would be quite a far fetch because that will probably be really breaking law so we'll just have to wait and see. At number 1 we have Celeborn, one of the most anticipated characters for the Rings of Power after his supposed death in season 1 and his whereabouts remaining unknown. Celeborn being played by Calum Lynch is Galadriel's husband who takes part in a leading role in the War of the Elves and Sauron so when we do get to see him in season 2 hopefully it will be entangled with the fall of Aregion and of course his reunion with Galadriel is going to be interesting. What else is interesting is how we will, he will come back into the show and into the plot, so where he has been all this time. There have been a few interesting theories, some saying that he was captured by the orcs somewhere and this can either be in the north and the northern fortresses, other things that Galadriel didn't go too far to in episode 1, or it could be that he's in the east somewhere somehow and maybe Noriel the stranger find him, or maybe because we haven't seen Círdan so far, maybe Círdan somehow finds him. Or maybe he was just trapped underground somewhere or in a prison and then one of the elves, maybe even Galadriel herself, ends up finding him and then he, she basically rescues him. So, Or he just breaks out of prison, that is another one. So then there are many different ways people think Celeborn could be in season 2. Let us know your theory in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, we really appreciate it. Please let us know if we missed any characters or if you'd like a part 2 list. But probably if we did a part 2 list, there'll probably be a lot more far-fetched characters or ideas. So they let us know and if you're enjoying the videos, please make sure to like and subscribe. But until the next video my friends, goodbye.